Hey guys, Waluigi Walkthroughs here with some more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword walkthrough. In the last part, we collected Neighbor's Flame and got the Goddess White Sword. And between this last recording and this recording, I collected a few more Tumbleweed up to 11 from 8. And at the same time, I went up from 2 Eldenor up to 4. Um, in order to get those things, you can just go either to Lanayru Desert for the Tumbleweed and to Elden Volcano for the Elden Ore. But anyway, in this part, and for some time, we're going to go collect a few things. So now that we have the claw shots down here in Floria Waterfall. Yep, Floria Waterfall in Farron Woods. Now that we have the wonderful, amazing, spectacular, stupefyingly, whatever. Anyway, now that we have the claw shots, if we come down here by the bird statue, you can see some vines up there. Use the claw shots to grab up there, and... Yep. Oh, there's an amber relic. That's not why we're here. That's not what we're here for. Yeah, we're not here for the stupid amber relic. We have way more than we ever really will need to use. But up here is a goddess cube, so that's why we're here. And Link just grabbed onto absolutely nothing when he was trying to climb up that ledge. Yay for <laughs> misplaced climbing animation. Anyway. The next goddess cube that we want to go grab is going to be in Farron Woods, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, now that we're close to the Scottis Cube, over here by the Great Tree in Farron Woods. Look at the wonderful map. And all those kickweeds, wow, we. Look at all those kickweeds, and there's a kickwee elder. Well, anyway, if you're over here by this branch of the Great Tree, now that we have the claw shots, we can latch onto this target and get the Scottis Cube. Technically, you could grab this goddess cube even without getting the claw shots. You could just jump off from the top of the great tree and try to skydive your way down here. It's a little bit difficult, but it's always manageable. I mean, I really didn't want to do that since I want to show you the true way to grab the claw, um, true way to grab that goddess cube. But anyway, there's one more, and it's down by Skyview Temple. Alright, so for the final goddess cube in all of Farron Woods region, it's down here by the deep woods next to Skyview Temple. So standing here on the right side of the temple, if you look up, you'll find some vines wash up up there. And you need to jump down. There's an amber relic there. I wonder if you can grab these things with your claw shots. I mean, you, sh you should. Why can't you do it? Okay, that's stupid. Anyway, latch onto the vines one more time, and here's the final goddess cube in all of Farron Woods. So with this one activated, we will never really have to come back to Farron Woods until we actually need to. So yay! All the collecting here is done. We have all the pieces of heart, all the goddess cubes. We're, all, we're well on our way to going for 100% in this game. Anyway, next we want to head off to... Uh, is it Skyloft? Yeah, let's head off to Skyloft. Alright, now that we're finally here in Skyloft, that took a while to just fly here. If we go down by the bird statue, here is all Fledge. Fledge or Fletch. Hey Link, any closer to finding Zelda? No. Don't go around telling one, but lately I've been working out at night. So that I can be as strong as strong like you. No, 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 no. Please don't come to my room at night when I'm training. I'll be embarrassed. Yeah, okay. Alright, Fledge. Yeah, you, you'll be embarrassed. Yeah, that's right. Anyway. Now that we're in Skyloft, I've been meaning to do this for some time, and I realize I actually haven't done this yet. Um, we need to go explore this place. Yeah, we need to go into some houses, um, activate them on our maps, because it's going to be easier later on when we need to find a couple things. So I can just at least show you guys on the map, oh, this is where we need to go, and at least you guys know that. But anyway, that was Ariel and Sparrow's house. Um, I think that's their names. But Ariel and Sparrow, they're two, like, they're the brother and sister that we helped out really early on in the game. Where, like, the sister was stranded on the island and we had to, like, heal her bird. Anyway, there's Kahil's house. But yeah, Ariel and Sparrow's home, we're gonna be visiting that place very soon. I just want to show you guys where exactly that was. Here, of course, is Pippet's house, so we don't really need to go in there. Here's one home that we have yet to go in. Yeah, there's... There's a few homes that we need to go in, just because I really just want to activate the map. But anyway, this home, it belongs to Rupin, the item shop. 
owner. Yeah, the guy who's like always smiling and everything. And here's her, his wife, I guess? Or mom. I don't know, but she's just the classic Zelda character that's like, Please don't break anything in my home! And I'm sure if you actually did break something, you'd probably have to pay for it. Anyway, there's a nice map of Skyloft right there, and there's a nice rupee symbol above the door. Yeah, clearly Rupin likes his rupees. Anyway. So, yep. Yeah, this is kind of going to be boring. I'm predicting that this is going to be kind of a boring section to be watching because, I mean, all I'm really doing is just walking around Skyloft, and you guys have already seen Skyloft enough. Yeah, here's Gear Peddler Rupin's house. Gear Peddler, apparently. I guess item shop owner is not the appropriate term. I think that's just for Beetle. Anyway, this should be... I don't even know who this home belongs to. Oh, that's right, that's right. This belongs to the potion owners, the potion shop owners. Bertie and something. Bertia or I, I don't know. What is it? Let's check the door. Potion shop owner, Bertie's house. All right. Now, is Bertie the guy or the, the female? Huh. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> seems like she's a man in the family, but anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Here, this is the... This is Gondos. Gonzos, Gondos. The, the gear guy. Not Rupin. Oh my gosh, okay. The item upgrader, the item crafter. Alright, let's just check his door see what his official title is. Scrap shop owner Gondos house. Alright, scrap shop owner. Not much of a scrap shop since he really actually makes some really good things for us. Anyway... Alright, there's that windmill that we activated a seems like a while ago. It really does, like a couple of months, technically. And if we go over here, there's a there's one house that's just hidden from everywhere else. Clearly this person likes her privacy. And this person is oh yeah, the fortune teller. I have no idea what the fortune teller's name is, but let's call him Mystique the Fortune Teller. Even though it's a guy with a mustache. Yeah, that's weird. It is Sparrow. Sparrow. Fortune teller Sparrow's heart. House. Horse. Yeah. Sparrow's horse. Alright. So that should be all of the homes in Skyloft. And yeah, yeah, you can see all those goddess chests that we have yet to open. But don't worry, we're going to be getting to that really soon, actually. Yeah. Um, after the next dungeon, we'll then go and... Oriel, yeah, it's Oriel. We're gonna go and activate most of the goddess chests that we have, because there are really only a few goddess cubes left in the game, and only one of them you can not get to, like, near the very end of it. And I'd rather just grab all the goddess chests that we have so far, just because I don't want to wait, let you guys, or have you guys wait till the very end of the game before we grab the goddess, goddess chest, because then it's like, what point is there to, like, using the items inside the goddess chest, if you understand what I mean. Anyway, so now that we have seen all the homes in Skyloft, let's head off to the bazaar. Yeah, we have a few things that we need to upgrade and buy. So, where am I? Okay, there we go. <laughs> First, let's head off to the storage item check. But I bet you're here to just check me out. Well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Anyway, you need to grab something? Clearly somebody has other thoughts than what I do. Anyway, we want to drop off the treasure medal because we don't really need that anymore. And we want to move our divine shield up there. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you, come again. I certainly will. Alright, so we have three bottles. I'm going to use up one of my bottles to grab a stamina potion, the green one. Mm. Now that amazing concoction is called stamina potion. It will make your stamina gauge decrease more slowly. It's a little pricey, but well worth it. 50 rupees. Yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, also I collected a few rupees along the way when I was trying to find the tumbleweed in the Eldenor. <laughs> and that's of course off screen, but yeah. Actually, having 1,700 rupees at this point in the game is a good thing, because I think we're going to be pretty much using all of it right now. Welcome. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't be sighing in front of a customer. You see, recently I haven't been able to sleep at night. Oh, sorry, I also shouldn't be complaining in front of a customer again. 
Okay. Oh, uh, hello! Welcome to my humble little business over here. I infuse the potions, my wife sells them with new ingredients to increase their power. Yeah, 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 we already know what you're gonna do. No, I don't have any potions I would like to upgrade. But anyway, the whole point of talking to this guy, as he said, he has been having some trouble sleeping at night. And after we talked to Fledge, he said he was training at night, so you want to grab a stamina potion after you talk to Fledge, because we're going to be using that stamina potion really, really soon. Anyway, Rupin here is telling us that the quiver is now available to buy. We don't need to buy it since we can grab it from a treasure chest, or I mean a god's chest. And here's good old Gondu. Hey! Alright. Yes, we finally want to upgrade probably the last of our items. First, let's go with the bug net. Yeah, so that's why you need the tumbleweed, like the extra tumbleweed. If you have eight, you can technically... You don't really need to upgrade the bug net, but if you have eleven at this point, upgrading the bug net is... If you can do it, there's, there's really no point in just waiting any longer. They actually help you collect the last of the bugs that you really need to find. Or if you ever really need the bugs to infuse potions. But anyway, yep, this bug net is now larger than before, and we can collect a couple of bugs at the same time. So, next on the list, we want to upgrade the Sacred Shield to the Goddess Shield. Alright, you want to upgrade this? Yes, please. <laughs> okay! Alright. But... I don't know if I talked about this yet, but infusing the potions, you need the bugs. You need bugs and you need a certain amount of them. I am not really one to infuse any potions because there really is no point to it since a lot you can go through the game without even having to use a better potion than the ones that they sell at the shop. But anyway, we got the Goddess Shield. But anyway, next on the list is our new bow and arrow. We're going to upgrade it to the Iron Bow. So that's why I collected some more Elden Ore. You need two, but I had like one. Maybe I had two. No, 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 you need, you need one more, I think. Well, anyway. So, yep, let's upgrade it to the Iron Bow. <laughs> Crafted for the Expert Bowman, this bow has more, blah, 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 can launch arrows even farther, yay. If you got anything else you want me to tinker around with, you just let me know. Yeah, we're going to be upgrading this bow one more time. I mean, if you want to use the Iron Bow, that's that's great, but if you can upgrade it to the Sacred Bow, go for it. Because once you get the Sacred Bow, then you're really good. You're, you're basically all set for any adventure ahead of you. And that just sounded really, really stupid. Wow. You're, ahead, you're ready for any adventure ahead of you. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> but yes, now that we have the Sacred Bow... This is the final item that we have to upgrade. Woo! Yeah, like I said, we're getting closer to the 100% mark now that we're getting further into the game and we have the capability of getting there. And stupid sea satchel, I don't want to upgrade that. A report master. Because of the improvement to your sword, you can now use your dowsing to locate treasure. Woo! Yeah, so you don't really need the treasure medal anymore. Even though it increases the frequency of finding treasures, you can just use your dousing ability to find any treasure that you really need to find. So, yep, now that we have the Goddess Shield, the durability is a little bit higher there. And we have now upgraded every item in our inventory. Yay! Except for the satchels and the quivers and the bomb bags. But that's later on in the game once we actually get those from the Goddess Chest. And... Actually... Before we leave to go take care of Fledge's little training at night side quest, yeah, it's a side quest, um, you technically want to grab two stamina potions, just because, just trust me, it saves you time than having to come back and forth between places. So yeah, make sure before you leave to go take care of Fledge's side quest, you have two stamina potions. I know I got rid of a fairy, but who cares? <laughs> Alright, next we're going to be going off to... Beetle's Air Shop, so see you guys there. Alright, now that we're in Beetle's Air Shop, this thing will open up another space in your adventure pouch. It's my last one, so it's been really little expensive. 1200 rupees, yeah. Look at that, we have just enough. 
We're gonna be broke! Not broke, but we're gonna be really, really poor. So now we have activated the last slot in our adventure pouch. So now we don't need to worry about that anymore. And we have three rupees now. Yay! But don't worry, 